In this video, we'll explore what the jackpot needs to be in a game of Powerball so that your expected value is positive. That is, if you played millions and millions of times, your average winnings would come out to be at least positive, not negative. Because we know in a, in a lottery game like Powerball, this multi-state lottery game, many people lose, but some people win very big. And so you're, you're really buying a dream when you buy a, a ticket. But that's, that's what makes it exciting. Now in our Powerball game, this multi-state lottery game, you pick five numbers out of an available 59 and then one Powerball out of an available 35 and you you try to match all six of those and here are the the prizes so if you match all five plus a Powerball you win the jackpot this is the jackpot up here minus the two dollars that you paid for the ticket so you have to take that into an into account and then you're all of these relative prizes as well so for example down here this is really a seven dollar prize but I've subtracted the two dollar that that you have already paid for the ticket. That's if you match three out of the five numbers. Now, down here is not matching enough numbers or, or not matching any numbers, and you lose the $2. You've already paid for the ticket. You don't get anything back, and that happens about 97% of the time. You, you know that from experience if you've played Powerball. But sometimes you, you do win at this very low probability. It doesn't happen very often for every ticket, but a, a very low probability. Um, the someone does win a pro, uh, a jackpot now what how the way this this chart works this is a very good uh, uh example problem for expected value and so it's a, it's a nice problem in statistics and probability if at the end of the video you could, you could take a look at the description on where you might brush up on stats of probability if you're interested um but the way this works is that you multiply the win loss this number so this is the event multiplied by the probability so what is the probability of this event happening of winning the jackpot on any given ticket and then this gives you the weighted average when you multiply those two now down the line then you add up all of these weighted averages and and that gives you your expected value so on average on average if the jackpot is 40 million dollars on average each ticket loses one dollar forty one cents that is if you if you played millions of times your average sometimes most of the time you would lose sometimes you would win big after millions and millions and millions of plays uh, but your your average per ticket would be a loss of a dollar forty one that's not good so what do we want what do we want uh, the jackpot to be so that your expected value is positive your average per ticket well I happen to know what that is that's near or very close to 290 million and that gives an expected value of a, of a penny an average of course of course it's still exciting to play if it's over 200 million or or so whatever your cutoff number is but i'm um, giving you just the mathematical model so that you can make your own decision now real quickly this power play it's never a winning bet it's a three dollar ticket and these are the associated prizes uh, so my suggestion to you is to not play the power play. You can see right now the expected value is still negative with the power play, um, e even if the jackpot is 290 million. So, so I'd, I would steer away from that. Now, if you're interested in more of this probability and statistics, then take a look at the description of this video, and you can see where you might take a class for this.